By the way, massive board game geek, and I did not even know this existed. And then check this one out, Big Trouble in Little China, £90. So intricate. Oh my goodness, I wish I had all the money in the world. Yes, Ramona, but you're upside down. Let me just flip you up. I actually have a Scott as well at home. Okay, I am here at Dice Cup, which is um, a board game community shop, I guess. It's got like tons of geeky stuff, board games to buy, board games to play with. You can buy like comics, manga, stuff, board games, just loads of stuff. This is my first time here. My sister's been here before. I just picked up on the way through this game. Which is Scott Pilgrim's precious little card game, which I am an absolute major fan of Scott Pilgrim, like crazy. I think I saw it like three or four times in the summer, and then I've like completed the the game that came out on Xbox maybe seven times, something like that, and I got like 100% achievements on it. Anyway, geek bit over. So we're gonna play this. Um, my sister's gone to go and find more board games for us to play. Um, and yeah, I'm just in my absolute element. If anyone knows me, I do Warhammer. I sit and paint and play. I love board games. Like my whole upstairs in my house is just pure board games and card games. And it sells what kind of food? Vegan food. I'm in my element. So what did you pick up? So we got a Scott Pilgrim game. We've got a photosynthesis. I think this is quite a new game. Uh, they're all two players because it's just me and Len today. We've got Pandemic and we've got Merlin as well. Nice, let's Can't see how many we get through, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My first thing that I found. Yeah, boy. So these rows are all the games that you can literally pick from and they have to be returned to the right place. So for example, if you pick up a choir and it says please return to H1, you're putting it in H1 so it all goes back in the nice right order. And there's so much to choose from, oh my goodness. And then I found all of these. <laughs> there's so many to go through. What I have picked up though is this one because it kind of kind of shouted out to me. Colour brain, crafty questions, colourful answers and basically Instead of giving out questions, you give people the answers already, and then it's like, what colour is this? What colour is that? So that could be really fun. Okay, just found the area of pure card games, so not board games. And this is my favourite. If I recommend anyone to get any card game, it is Coup. The best and most strategic game I think I've ever played in my life. Since we have no place to go, let it snow, let it snow. Okay, so we both ordered the same thing. So I've ordered a panini with mozzarella, a sage and onion slice with Worcestershire Worc 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 sauce. Is it Worcestershire sauce? Yeah, Worcestershire sauce. And a pot of Earl Grey tea right here to get me through my board gaming evening. So here are the board games we're going to play this evening. So how this shop works is, if you want to come and play a game that they've got here, it's a £5 entry. If you want to bring your own game that you've got, it's a £1 entry. And then you pay for whatever you want to like eat or any merchandise that you want to buy. But otherwise, if you just want to sit down and play a game until 11 o'clock at night, because that's how long it's open till, um, it's £5. So basically, right, we're playing 
Tekonoko as our game of choice this evening. A guy came over, explained the rules, which was super helpful, so thank you for that. Um, we just played our first round. I had won up until a certain point. So you're supposed to get up to eight points. Now I've gone way over, I had seven points, and then my last card that I had brought me to three. So now I have 10 points. Montana has one more round left to see whether she could potentially win and get more points, and then that's it. She gets the Emperor. But at the moment, I'm winning, I have the Emperor. Montana said, I can only win this round if I roll the lightning bolt, which means I can move my panda anyway because he teleports. <laughs> I only went and rolled a bloody lightning bolt, didn't I? <laughs> so that means I actually drew with land. Now, now you're asking. Well, how do you win if you're drawing? It's sudden death. <laughs> so we'll see you then. <laughs> so now we've both got 10 points. And uh, the guy didn't explain about you know, a tiebreaker. Then you let it go. By technicality, using the rule book, it says, in case of a tie, the player with the most points on the panda objective cards wins. In the event of a further tie, the tied players share a victory. Now, my pandas equate to three and four, which makes seven. Montana's is just a four. However, we've just played a new round. And Montana's little panda has eaten four la large bamboos. Okay, four, four of them. And her card said to eat two. Three. So, three. Oh, two. No, two. I am right. <laughs> to eat two bamboos. So, by our rules, she has won. But by checking the rules of the panda eating, I've won. But also Montana has won. <laughs> So, I think we have to go to the end of the game and say, in the event of a further tie, the tied players share a victory. How do you feel about that one? I think I'd rather lose than share a victory with you. <laughs> Sucks to be you! <laughs> okay, we're starting a new game called Photosynthesis. Looks pretty interesting so far. Um, how's it going? Oh, it's nice. Um, just gets paid like big old pink trees. And like... Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> okay, so this is what the board looks like at the moment. So, we just played photosynthesis and it was excellent. Very different. Very different kind of way of playing. But the end score, Montana won. And um, we both got 76, which is really weird because we were tied on both games. But the killer was the light points that go on here. Montana got three extra points, I, I only got one. So she ended up with 79, and I ended up with 77. But without them, it would have been tied. And then in which case, it would have been how many trees are on the board, and Montana still would have won because she has three trees left on the board, and I have zero. <laughs> I've loved this night. I think I think Lan was a bit scared. Yeah. Um, when she opened the box, the first thing she saw was this. <laughs> like no board, like no board, no cards, no die that we used to. And she got scared, but I was like, Lan, look, let's have a go, let's have a play. And it actually was a different game. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm going to end it here because I can't bother to end it any later than it already is. So yeah, we've been here for like four hours. I'm pretty sure. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This is another vlogmas over and done with. I'll see you later.